good afternoon guys happy monday hope everyone had a good mother's day this past weekend i am currently um driving people focus downtown um trying to get to my doctor's appointment on time my i have my ultrasound today and that's at 1 15 but they say they want me to get there at one o'clock and it is 12 56 so i don't know if i'm gonna make it traffic's a little bad just because it's um lunchtime you know how downtown downtown traffic is but hopefully i can get there soon i'm super nervous i took famera this round um cycle d's three through seven um I have been taking my ovulation test recently, um, the last couple of days, and they seem to be getting a little darker. I don't know if my eyes are just playing tricks on me, getting line eyes as they call them, um, but they have been seem seeming to get a little darker each day. Um, Joseph can actually see the lines, which he typically can't, so we'll see. I decided not to take one this morning just because... I had the appointment today so i'm just gonna look and see if she sees anything i'll keep y'all updated <laughs> But here's just the um, ultrasound room, and that's what I'll be looking at. And just that's where I'll be. Yeah, not to record in here. So sorry, guys. I'll let you know. I am pretty bummed. Um, when I went in for the ultrasound, I didn't see anything personally. Um, I'm in another waiting. And I'm in another office, just waiting for the doctor to come in to take me back into her office, and we'll go over the scans and everything. But I didn't see anything, so I'm not, I had my hopes up for some good news because my ovulation tests were getting darker, but I don't think it's going to happen again this month, but we will see what the doctor says. Maybe she sees something that I didn't see because, I mean, she is the one that has the degree and all this, so I, I don't know. It just looked like a big black blob, blob to me, so we'll see. Hey guys, uh... I'm like really mad at myself. So I'm at the ultrasound and still nothing. No dominant follicles, she said. Doesn't see any dominant follicles. Just my polycystic follicles or whatever that are around the edge or whatever you want to call it. So she's only going to try two more times on the Femera. Um next month if this is all if I don't ovulate I'm supposed to go back um, beginning of next week to test for ovulation get my labs done um, check my progesterone to see if I ovulated and then if I did ovulate then wait to see if I get pregnant or to see if my period comes if I don't ovulate she wrote me another prescription for Provera just because I don't remember how many refills I had and then take the Provera and then she's going to up my dosage on the Femera trust me I know it's confusing with all these names um, she's gonna up my dose on the Femera to 7.5 which is doubled um, on days three through seven like I did last time um, go again for a follicle scan and do the same thing over again if that month doesn't work and I don't ovulate on that dose then we're going to try this stair stepper um, thing which is what um, the fertility specialist that she recommends her patients to it would be it would be days two through six which is different than what I've been doing um, the Famera comes in prescriptions of 2.5, which is one pill. I was on five milligrams, so I had to take two pills a day on three through seven. But what she would do is on day two, do 2.5, which is one pill. Day three, do five milligrams, which is two pills. Day three, 7.5 milligrams, three pills. Day five, 10 milligrams, 
three, uh, four pills. Day six, 12.5, six pills. So, and if that doesn't work, then she is going to refer me to a fertility specialist, which she recommends patient in Winston-Salem, which is like a couple hours away. So I, I really don't know if this doesn't work. Um, I think she had initially said that she would, um, if medication doesn't work, then she would do an HCG test, which is when they um, shoot the dye up your tubes and stuff to see if there's any blockage. But my problem is, um, I don't have really, I don't think I have any blockage. My problem is, I, I'm not producing any eggs. Um, so there's no point, if I'm not making the eggs, then there's no point in checking my tubes because that's not what the problem is right now. It's my eggs. My body just doesn't do what it wants to do. So I'm pretty frustrated with myself. I'm trying not to get emotional or anything. Um, it's just a very frustrating feeling when your body doesn't do the one thing it's meant to do really whenever you're a woman. Um, it's very frustrating when I want a child so bad, especially with Mother's Day being yesterday. And it's very frustrating being the one thing that is, um, being the one thing, or it's, sorry, it's, fr my mind is all over the place. It's very frustrating that I'm the reason, my body is the reason that I can't give my husband the one thing that he wants out in life. So, it's very frustrating. Um, so I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. Go to labs next week, see if I ovulated. Um, I told her and I showed her, because I've been taking pictures of my ovulation tests and everything. I know they're not positive, but, um, let me see. But they've been, it's been getting darker. So she said, she's like, hey, if you have them, then keep testing, because you, you never know maybe we just did the ultrasound a little early maybe i'll ovulate later in my cycle but here is um a picture of like my like ovulation test and stuff if it'll focus like i know it's not positive i don't think you can tell in the picture it looks a whole lot lighter in the picture than it does looking at it in real life but she, she saw the line too. And I told her if it's been getting darker. So she said I can keep testing for ovulation. Um, if I have them. Which I have that big pack that I showed you guys before. So another bummer. Another bummer thing. Um, I knew. I knew it. From as you saw in the clip before. I knew I didn't see anything. So I was a little bummed already. And I knew not to get my hopes up. So ovulation tests were just a little tricky and got my hopes up which is something you you shouldn't do while you're going through all of this so that's my rant for the day though I, I guess that's it's not a good video but if you liked the, the update or whatever just give it a thumbs up um, if you want more updates do you want to go back to see what we've done so far hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.